me a minute setting this up. Let's take a wee minute. Okay, right guys, this is a brand new Master League Let's Play. Um, I decided to do something a little bit different uh, now that Data Pack 4 uh, dropped today. So what I have done is I've rearranged all the teams uh, into a European Elite League. Um, 20 of the top teams in Europe which I've chosen as Ajax, Arsenal, Atletico Madrid, Barcelona, Bayern, Dortmund, Celtic, some might disagree with that, but that's the team we're going to go, so they're there. Chelsea, Juventus, Liverpool, Man City, Man United, AC Milan, Monaco, Napoli, PSG, Real Madrid, Roma, Spurs and Valencia. There's a very good argument for it should be Inter instead of AC Milan, but we're just going to go with that just now. What I have done is I've set up this league so that it will have a feeder league, a lower division, and that has 24 sort of second tier European teams in my eyes. Uh, as you can see here, I'm not going to list them all. But these will all play second division football and there will be promotion and relegation and we'll be able to do transfers, all that good stuff from Master League. The only thing that this will negatively affect is Europe or what they would call Europe in this game because the rest of Europe now consists of pretty weak teams because I've moved everyone. So what I think we'll do is we'll just be simulating the European games and not really bothering with them just focusing on this because it should really make every week pretty exciting um, and certainly since I'm going Celtic a hell of a challenge um, with this so we're just going to go with it like this you'll notice there from the Celtic team uh, what I've done is I've put a bunch of sort of up and coming players in the team there is Celtic players in there Ayers there uh, Tierney Henry, Dembele, Roberts, who else is there? Rogic, Armstrong, Forrest. Um, I just, I don't have time to make everyone. Um, so I've put some, I've not put any superstars in there, I've basically put in players that are, have a lot of potential, all kind of young players. Um, but no, as I said, no superstars, so I'll start this up just now. I'm playing this on top player difficulty, so I think it's going to be pretty difficult. Especially at first when the team chemistry is going to be pretty low, but we'll see how it goes. So here I am meeting the media for the first time. As I set up the team beforehand, I don't really think we have to make many sign-ins, but we'll maybe have a look, just in case there's anyone we need. Should have a bit of money. Twenty-five million. So the bid that's cleansed for Maitland Niles, we don't want to sell him, so we'll just End that negotiation. Um, 
I also did create many you might not be aware of this guy's name's Caramel Dembele. He's actually a youngster at Celtic at the moment. He's only I think he's turned fifteen now. Um by all accounts an absolute wonder kid. I think we'll be struggling to keep a hold of him. But um I've put him in the team just to spice things up a little bit. So this is our squad here. So I'm just going to go in and set the game plan. I usually play a 4-3-3 with two sitting players. Something there. There we go. Uh, we want to make them central midfielders, not defensive. Okay, right, so our starting lineup I think will be I R Hard to say possibly possibly that. Phil Hena and probably Renato Sanchez, Teixeira, Forrest, and Baldi. I think that will be our start in 11. Yeah, that looks not too bad. Inexperienced, but not too bad. I think we'll go with that. Okay. So, usually I would spend a bit of time here signing players, but I think we've got enough. I think we've got enough. Well, enough to make it interesting anyway, it's, it's going to be, as I said, it's going to be a All right, straight to the first day of the season, Real Madrid, good. No, we don't want to sell him. He's not actually very good, him, but I do need a backup right back, so I'm not going to sell him. Douglas Pereira. Um, just have a look at these player numbers quickly. Because they're always a mess when you start. Right, we'll give the font number one. They can take number seven. I think he's going to be pretty good. Give Poulsen 88. And I've got quite a bit of faith in Renato Sanchez. He can get 67. Other than that, it's really just the hood number eight. Keep Tierney at 63. The rest aren't too important though. Mr. Dembele, number 10.
strong can be six. To shed, I can get Nakamura's old number. That's old number. That'll do. In fact. There we go. Right, so the first game is going to be a home game against Real Madrid. Doesn't get much tougher than that. Just take a quick look at our instructions. We want to play counter-attacking football, short pass, flexible, high support range. And defensive, we want to have a deep defensive line. Don't be compact. And instructions, we want to hug the sideline. These are tactics that do tend to work for me, but that is when the team chemistry gets quite high, of which it is not just now. We want short grass. Right, that sounds ready to go. I'm going to hit kick off and I'll let the pre match stuff play out while I let my cat into the house, okay? to welcome everyone back to a new season everything building now towards the imminent kickoff i'm peter drury and it's my chance to say that it is an absolute delight to have jim beglin beside me thanks for that peter hi everyone the excitement has really picked up now and i'm eager for the action to start Unfortunately, it doesn't look like Ramadan have sold half their team before this game. Oh shit. That was what I forgot to do. I forgot to set my subs. Like a fucking idiot. Thankfully it doesn't look too bad, but I'm going to have to hope for the best here. Who have they got? It's not the worst lineup. Just check the Europa League scores while we're here. Flight to Madrid down to 10 men. We've got a bet in Arsenal, so that'll do, mate. That's awfully generous, looks like Real Madrid are going to defensive formation. And we're underway. Wasn't Do expecting that. Games of this nature, who can make the difference? Well, it's not hard to like what Sergio Ramos offers. Um, goes about his work with strong aggression and tries to dominate opposition. I think this is going to be pretty tough, if I'm honest. And brave uh, in getting his head on the ball. Yeah, we're going to hopefully a stick with view of his ability to lead and organise the defence. Top player difficulty, but could be a struggle a until to witness the start of a brand new managerial career. Oh. Indeed, this is for him. So, Could be a struggle until we get a team chemistry up a bit. I was a little surprised by the decision to install him. 
and I think that goes for the fans too. And while every new manager needs a good start, he probably needs it more so. Oh dear. Sergio Ramos. Could move up a gear here. Oh, danger. An interesting press Real Madrid have got going on here. They seem to be kind of holding off one it's second and then pouncing the next. Renato Sanchez. Oh dear. Cristiano Ronaldo. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Right. Well, it's obviously a move to push. Um, the is he onside? Wide men back oh, he is. And give them more oh, close. With this mic. That was close. Father help tries to get it forward quickly. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? <sighs> Thought we're going for the slight tackle there, but it could have been a red. on target is acceptable if levels of enthusiasm and energy are good and they're not I know right Tony de Vilhena it's called bedding yourself into the game pal Renato Sanchez Tony de Vilhena You can tell the passing's just not crisp at all yet. It's bit of a struggle here. Oh dear. How about it? Oh. Lucky. Looks to clip it forward. Isco. Cristiano Ronaldo out wide to the right. Now it's Bale. It's Bale. <sighs> and the counter is Pretty lucky to still be level here. He goes ah, away. too early. Oh, good interception. Tried to play it through. The movement was good, but the pass lacked authority. It's Forest away. A cause of mild frustration. Oh. The shot's on. Oh, it's in! They've scored! It's just about to berate Forrest for going with outside his foot as well. Look, that's one of the first things you learn, whether you're a Slightly fortunate to be 1 0 up. Anticipate a goalkeeping parry or spillage, and sometimes you'll get lucky and come your way. That's why you give him number seven. to the wall time now, I think. work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. Defenders on the back foot. Tries a through ball. He's got options out wide. Ah. Modric. Oh. They've been pretty casual, Real Madrid, so far. Long may it continue. Ah, so close. Tony to Vilhena with an air of confidence about him, a certain swagger. 
It opened up really nicely when the defence got all tentative then. Uh, they were cautious in making contact, but safe in numbers. It's a strange one that they're playing Modric in the left wing. Also that big Ron the ball bag can go up top. Liking the look at this boy so far. Kera. I think it's pronounced. From Schalke. Oh dear. Away with one again. I think this luck's going to hold up. That's about three or four of them now from. That's an untidy challenge. <laughs> Ronaldo Sanchez, pass. he's been a bit Modric. casual. Madrid have themselves a corner, I think. Yes, they do. Gorgeous control there. Oh. And he's cut it out. Nice. Breaks on here. What a ball. That's clever. Oh. Sergio Ramos cuts it out. Oh. He's looking to get there first. Oh, come on. Unlucky. Good closing down. Looks like a good ball through. Swept in. Can he put it away? Oh. It's a carbon copy of their previous miss. They're just lacking the cutting edge, Peter. And while that's fairly obvious, the rest of their attacking play is actually quite good. It's good defending, actually. We Forest having a good game, though. So far. Massive lead! Ah. Try. The outcome could so easily have been different. That's a little unfortunate. It's not far not away. A lot of people worried then. So there you have it, a close fought half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. Well, that was a good first half. Just going to readjust the microphone here for a second. For me, they've shown some excellent counter attacking now, son. It's paying dividends. Leading 1 0 at the break. Well, that's still okay. It's a pretty even first half. Just edged it by one shot, one shot on target, and one goal. See what oh, can do now. Be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind oh, the geez. ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. Brilliant play. Spread out wide, hoisted towards the area. Hits one. Oh, what a save! Two really good chances to end it. Throw in. I'm still having quite a good game to share, I don't think it's one in. Now it's bail. Would be that good. Sanchez. 
Jeez. And it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Sanchez in the hands of a nightmare. Passes it through. Good ball. Now they can break here. He's in the box. Off. Goal kick. Ran out of room. Forward it goes. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Keita looking as though he's being given special treatment here. Treatment he could well do without. Yeah, and what they've got. Ooh. Is that a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. And the referee has shown him a yellow card. Should have been sent off. Built just a single goal between the sides. By all this, you can tell this team hasn't gelled properly yet. Chance to break. The passes are going to strike, and there's enough so far to show that they will click. Now the pass. That will just take him some time. And, and if I can eke out the odd win against Real Madrid in the meantime, the Bale encouraged the pass with an inverted run, but the pass just lacked pace. Marcelo. Helps from Ronaldo's not having a good game as well. Modric. Sanchez. See away. Stroke it through. Take it. Ah. it back. Once Pilsen gets a year or so under his belt, he'll take that kind of, well, kind of ball in his stride. To defend when ahead, but it's too early for them to settle into that practice just now. Looks to Go on, Forrest. Tackle. They were outnumbered and under the cosh. That had to be spotted. Just keep running out of room here. Yeah. Right, to get another goal. And it's Cristiano Ronaldo. That's great strength on the ball. Ronaldo. They've not looked that dangerous, but I don't fancy my chances at clean sheet. Uh, was too timid to make it through the defence. It'll be noted. So I think I need to score again. Run, I'm sure. Especially with dodgy balls like that. Tries a through ball. Battles to win it back. Let's get a sub on, I think. God knows what we've even got on the bench. It's not bad, actually. Considering I forgot to set up my bench at the beginning of the game, could have went a lot worse. Right, we'll get Dembele on for Poulsen. Bergwijn on for Baldi. That seems to have absolutely destroyed my team. Chemistry, but go for it. I'll explain after this game, by the way, uh, all the players that I've created do have real faces. I've used the base copy option and matched them as well as I could. Go on, he's got to be. Face to face with the keeper. Oh dear. Keeper's ball. Baldi would have buried that. Isco. It's all about the timing. Who's ball? Who's going to get that? Played out to the wing. And I've now got a central defender at that. Got ever so well. well, as Tesco Peter, the keeper has just received an A plus grade. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Passes it through. What a ball! Looking to shoot. <laughs> oh, fuck! Oh, and that should have been two. He got too ahead of himself there, thinking how he could have panicked after his first mess.
that was some save. A change about to occur. Well, his stamina was called into question then, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the effort he put in. He was very willing, though, not quite able. There's a real appetite from them to oh, finally dear. put this game to bed, but just the goalkeeper to beat. Oh, good. Madrid are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. That's Forrest. Fat inside. Wide. Ah, well kept. This is good ball retention, and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. This is actually the first match I've played since the latest update, and uh, it does seem like there's more, a bit more scrappiness, which I like. Players seem to be fighting for the ball in midfield a lot more. This is good ball retention, and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. Oh dear. Oh no, don't you go along. Asensio did give it a fair old crack and he'll be encouraged to step up again. Yeah, let's get another sub on and try and see this out. Um, let's get the hood on. Go a bit more defensive and just try and see this out. So the manager making the last of his changes. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. When you listen to Malik, your team waste all you want. He becomes tired. The brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. Right, we're going to go kind of defensive here. Last five minutes. Minutes away from what would be a huge upset. Renato Sanchez, Casemiro battles to win it back. Just How is that not a free kick? moments for them to hang on. Try to play defensive and Tierney's belt not up the line. Looks like a good ball through. Oh, well taken. Oh, that's filth. Gonna have his name taken. You are lucky, Marcel. Making their point, but the ref clearly isn't interested. He's waved them all away. Well, I think the alternative was to stand there and, and do nothing while he, he tried to score. And obviously, he's not going to allow that, Peter, is he? Outrageous. Looking to pull clear. I don't think here. I've got anyone in this pitch that can have a well within shooting range. <laughs> Go here, that's my best option. Right. Ah, oh, it's bounced out. Yes, sticks it away. And surely that does it. Perfect time, decisive strike. Yes, as I say, that is Mr. Dembele, and he does have a real face. Not his real face, but a real face. Uh, I'll go through the faces after this game. And explain how how I did that. Two up and very little time left. Surely this is it. Benzema. Confirmation that there will be two minutes stoppage time. Out to the flank, Marco Asensio. And that's it. They won. It's a cracking one. The perfect start they craved. After all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? A well, pre-season and all that hard work has been worth it now. A winning start that gets everyone in the right mood. We're just about out of time, so many thanks to Jim, and a very good afternoon to you. Definitely deserved. Played well, better than I thought. 
Dembele man of the match is a bit of a strange one. Take it up. So let's have a look at these results. Dortmund drew PSG, Roma beat Chelsea 4 1, Juve beat Spurs, Liverpool beat Valencia, Man City beat Ajax, Arsenal Man United drew, AC Milan 2 0. Maybe it was a good idea choosing them. 3 1 Barcelona, 2 0 Bayern. You know you've put together a decent league when Chelsea, Valencia and Ajax are the bottom three. Tierney a fighter now. Pretty accurate. Right, so like I was saying about the faces, I hate having the generic faces. Um, I think, especially in pairs, I think they look pretty bad. Um, but the, luckily there's this thing you can do called base copy. Um, pairs do a really, really good job of giving not just the big players, but about half the players in the game, to be honest, real faces. But the ones that don't, what you can do is you can copy the face of one of the other players that does have a real face onto a player that doesn't. So all you need to do is choose who you think fits best. So I'll show you what I've done. Some have worked better than others. Um, Lafon and Kerr, they've both that is their real face in the game. Christopher Ayer, I've used the face of Casper Dolberg from Ajax. Turi had his real face. Tierney, I think it was. Oh, who was it? It was somebody from Dortmund that I used. The left back, what's his name? Can't remember. Volhen already had his real face. So did Sanchez, so did Teixeira. For James Forrest, I've used Yarmolenko of Dortmund. Baldi already had his face, so did Poulsen. Stephen Bergwijn didn't. I used the face of is it Michael Keane from Juventus. He's on loan at one of the other Serie A sides at the moment. I can't remember who. Dahoud had his real face. Dembele, I've used the face of, is his name Augustine? Augustine from Leipzig. Armstrong, I used Lassa Schoen from Ajax. Maitland Niles got his face update today. Burke already had his face. Caramel Dembele, I have used. Kieta. No. Who did I use for him? Yeah, Naby Keita. Um, which, I mean, it works as well as you can get a face for a 15-year-old. Uh, Pereira already had his face, so did Scofé. He had his face. I can't remember whose face I've used for that. It was someone in the German League for Hendry. Rodjick already had his face. For Roberts... I can't remember who I used and it's not the best fit to be honest, but from a distance it doesn't look too bad. And Cessna already had his face. So that's how, in case you're wondering, everyone has a real face. They've been nicked off other players. Right, so a win against Real Madrid to start things off is pretty good. See who they're wanting us to sign. Mario Gaspar. Mm, does look pretty decent. I 
think we're okay with who we've got, but not a bad signing. Right, so the next match will be against. Ah, oh, shit. Tierney injured. You gonna know? You left your phone. Yes. Uh, no. Right, let's see. How bad this Tierney injury is. One week, that's not too bad. Could have been a lot worse. Right, so all that will happen is Session Young come in and start. Let's, in the meantime, sort out this defence. Eh, uh, this bench. So we want a defender, two central midfielders, an attacking midfielder, two wingers, and a striker. Taking Tierney out, that team absolutely rapes our team chemistry, unfortunately. Right, Napoli home. Let's go. They lost their first game. Sack the rain. Let's see. Yeah, it's gonna be quite a tough game. That's a good lineup they've got. with a Dries Mertens face scan. I think we're just about ready to get going here. A warm welcome to you wherever you are in the world. I'm Peter Drury and it's a pleasure to be alongside Jim Beck. Thanks for that Peter and may I say... Sorry about the noise here, I just need to move. That's the table. Right, hopefully that's come across okay still. <clears throat> Let's go. And that gets things running. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? I'm going to go for the Slovakian Hamšík. Easily one of the more productive, creative players on show and, and likely to be at the hub of, of all things attack. He's a scorer of important goals too. and I hope he doesn't let me down now, now that I've given him the big mention. He would be the obvious choice, wouldn't he? Shit. He certainly has all the right qualities. It's a fine run and he's happy to keep going. In with a header! Oh. Right with his head, but couldn't steer it in. Hulsen will probably beat himself up after that as the sole culprit. 
Well, the first attempt hasn't quite drawn first blood, but they've got a slight edge. Cuts it out. All the way back, and they start again. Tony de Vilhena. to the other flank. Played it early. What? Oh dear, that's a terrible play. It's Tony to Vilhena. Now it's Mertens. Good tackle. Looks to slip it through. Ah. What? And he's there to cut it out. He's made sure that that won't get through. <laughs> Keita. Looks hey, like back at you, Jess. Over it comes. You're supposed to be my assistant manager here. to the score, nil-nil it remains. Napoli lost on the opening day, so coming to this already, looking to make up ground. Keita crosses. Can he dig out a shot? Ah, oh, close. Hamshik goes looking, looking to break out here. Now it's Mertens. Just brushed off the ball there. Very happy with that to the central defence, he's good. Good running with the ball, can they build Straight on it? Big chance here! Ah. And it's Good chance. Hall. Hoists it high. Nice little flick. It's the goalkeepers to claim. Pepe Rina taking a bit of a chance. Kaya Hon. Mertens gets it back. Yeah, it definitely seems like after this update, the, it's a lot more deflections, the ball breaking and stuff like that. It's good. Renato Sanchez. Tony to Vilhena. It's Tony to Vilhena! Hit it. Looking to shoot. <sighs> Good hit. Now it's Mertens. Uh oh. Kaya Hall. Feed a breakaway goal here. Hamshik battles to win it back. Oh, telegraphed. Lorenzo Insignia pulls out on the left now. to Vilhena. He's had a go! Can he shoot? Oh, come on. Oh, he got that all wrong.
balls come loose. Tries to. So can he put it away? Oh, come on. Beautifully worked to take the defense out of the picture, but there'll be no rush to see the replay on this. Pretty happy with these, these defenders so far though. A bit lucky against Real Madrid, but to have not conceded a goal so far is pretty good. Famous last word. to the left. Helps available out wide. Lorenzo and Senior. Well done. Tries to get it forward quickly. Renato Sanchez. Tony de Vilhena. Renato Sanchez. Oh, uh, given it. that is a soul. Showed him a yellow card. <clears throat> Forward it goes. Keita out to the flank. Oh, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Take the corner. <clears throat> Aim long and direct. That'll be the last act of the first half. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game. Defending my good attack so far. We are up to the break. Jeez, they've the shot. Half, just missing goals, so don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Nil nil. Whistle goes, and we start the second half. Nil nil then, and we're back on the way. Jorginho. Mertens. Uh -oh. It's it, and now what? Shoots! Well done. Oh, well ah. intercepted, really alert to the danger. So you got to count all that. Pops it in gently. Kaya Hon. Forward it goes. Keita plays it. Oh, that's terrible. Oh dear. Now here's the three. <sighs> Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Tries Bill Hamilton. Get in. It's in. And now it's all about how they handle this from here. Edging ahead again in this second half. Is best followed up with a, a bold mindset, a bold approach. Didn't realise I'd given him the it's up to his teammates now to follow. captaincy. What a finish, though. Well, right in front of goal, he did a bit of the no first game as well. Yeah, it looks simple, Peter, but it requires intelligent use of space and, and good understanding to pull it off. For a career renaissance at 21. It's 1 0. Or well, whatever the manager said in that dressing room at half time, it's worth the treat. Hampshire. And it's Mertens. Lorenzo Insignia. Sorry about the noise outside. Some idiotic neighbours decide that it's time to put their bin out. Go on, Forrest. Ah. Tony to Vilhena is on the end of some really unwanted attention. Well, they've got to deny him time and space, and, and that's one way of ensuring it. Well played. This was gone, that's a foul. Well, here we go. It would take well, something pretty lost. special to beat the keeper from this far out. How far out is that? 
far enough. I could have afforded to put that a yard to that side. I could have went in actually. He's obviously a decent bend. That's maybe something I could look for on the transfer market someday it can have a free kick. It's exactly the start to this second half they would have hoped for. They can build on that morale boost and confidence and finish the contest by really taking the game to the opposition now. Well played, go kick. Too tight, which is interesting. No, hey, man. it's probably cautionary. Uh, don't dive in, try to pinch it or, or intercept so nobody can get in behind. Tries to get it forward quickly. Tony de Vilheda. Oh, shit. Jorginho with a good steal. Well played. Now it's Mertens. Lorenzo Insignia. Good defending. Okay. No. I'm definitely corrected it's a corner. Definitely liking this setup so far. I think it's gonna lead to interesting games every week. Well it's good big chance! Ooh. It's a carbon copy of I don't think it's gonna really matter about Europe not being used either because really you've pretty much got Europe here. every week. Taking I think it'll be interesting enough. So it's good momentum now. Renato Sanchez. Tries to switch the play. So what now? Hit it. Goes for goal. <sighs> well, he should have done better, and he knows it. Well, to put it this way, he's probably made better decisions. Wasn't far away, actually. It's got a sub on. I'll do just now. Checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Sanchez is a good game. Goal, and now he gets himself out of Asian on the way off. Look, he can only give your all, and he's delivered in that regard. And I think the manager is probably just spotted now a little tiredness creeping in. And you know, if that's the case, then you know he's doing the right thing. And it's Gula. Now the pass. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. A massive gaping hole between their midfield and their defenders. Passes it through. Keita. Very good battle there, terrific to watch. Well, you could see he was eager to get a shot away, but there was too much flesh and bone in his path. That is wild. So Jim, what are you thinking? Peter, they're leaving nobody guessing now. This is a decisive attempt to go further in front. Ah, he did better contact. Alex Teixeira worked a lovely solo run and effort, Peter. He should go solo again for me. He should have been hitting the target. Napoli, look as though they're about to make a change. Right, I'm going to try robots through the middle. And we'll get Mr. Dembele on as well. See if we can get on a goal. Go 
Jorginho goes looking. Alan. Most importantly, not concede. Mertens. Tries a through ball. Done. Oh, surely. Get ready. Napoli are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. Oh my god, that's a hospital pass. Now it's Mertens. Fine defending there. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. Go on, Paddy. He's got away. Ah. some clearance now. Can anyone get on the end of it? Field, changing the point of attack. Tito Vilhena. There's that. a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? They are pressing something fierce now. Looks like a good ball through. There he is. Going through. Plays it out to the flank. Good challenge, he just stood firm. I think it's time for them to concentrate on closing this one out. I think time you're right. Play. Almost there, and the players can feel it. Why is Dembele not in the bend? In the box? Oh! Robert's nearly my goal for my header. Yeah, it's safe to say that they just need to manage this to secure the win now. Kaya Hong. That was ridiculous. I don't know why I did that. This goes against the grain. They're not going to get back Asking into the game like this. Asking for trouble doing that. Jorginho. Just keep now the ball. Outboy to the right. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? Kaya Hong. Now it's Hamshik. Hamshik battles to win. Insignia with a shot! Oh, get rid of it. Oh, he couldn't get hold of it. That's plenty there. In the corner over the last kick. Get back higher. Why not? No, what about it? Some hit. The equaliser just wouldn't come. It is over. <coughs> Terrific contest. It really might have tipped either way. The margins were tiny. Just a goal in it. But that was enough. Yeah, it was never a match that was going to blow us all away, Peter. But I felt the team did a lot right, especially that well timed goal. That's well it said. for today. Thank you, Jim. And goodbye. I think the margins were a little bit smaller, a little bit bigger than you're saying, mate. 62% more than the one shot on target. Man of the match for Sanchez. It's not going great for Chelsea so far. Up. I was going to say only team not to have conceded, but Manchester United haven't scored or conceded in classic Mourinho born as shit fashion. Right, the two games will do me for today. Um, I'll archive this on the website and I'll be back soon with more and we'll hopefully turn this into a series right okay oh wait what's happening Messi's winning an award news flash 
Okay, that's great, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll be back soon.